This is the Cougar Football Preview. Brought to you by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Cougs are ranked 19th in the country. We're here in Salt Lake City. Two regular season games remain, and this is the one in Utah. It'll be the Apple Cup after the bye week next week. Here we are right outside of Rice Eccles Stadium. Pac-12 is still on the line. All the yep. meat's still on the bone in this season, guess. What are the three keys that the Cougs need to execute to get the win here on the road in a hostile environment? Yeah, I know we haven't played Utah in the last two years, but previous matchups with Utah, they've gotten after our quarterback. And that's been one of our bugaboos this year, sacks on the quarterback. So we have to protect Luke Falk. Right now, Washington State has given up 38 total sacks on the season, averaging right around 3.8 per game. That's 12th in the Pac-12. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be one thing that we have to go and sew up. Utah is going to play a lot of man coverage. They're going to bring a lot of inside pressure. They haven't really gotten to the quarterback this year, though. They've done that, but they have not gotten to the quarterback. They only have 15 sacks on the season, with this, which is 10th in the pack. It's really way below their typical average. In 2014, they led the nation. They and did. that's kind of what they do. They get to the QB. Might be a little more difficult in Rice Eccles. It's really loud. 45,000 plus folks. This will be the 50th straight sellout. So that'll be a tough environment. That will be. And that's be one of the keys to watch is, is how that communication goes between quarterback and center and if the line's getting off the ball pretty quickly. All right, what's the second key for this one? Number two, it's not a secret, Chaz. We talk about it week after week. It's the turnover margin. Both of these teams are number 11 in the country and taking the ball away. They both have 20 takeaways. But that being said, Utah holds on to a little bit better. They're plus four in the margin and overall, and Washington State is minus three in the margin. Now, look at this stat, though. At home, Utah is minus two in the margin. Kind of funny. They've given the ball up 10 times at home. Hmm. Now Washington State on the road is minus seven in the margin, and they've given up the ball away 13 times. So it's going to be about who goes and takes that ball away and who can protect it. That ball is going to be a premium because it's going to be a very close game in my mind. It's not often that the special teams unit is notable for something other than punt returns and kick returns. In this instance, it's the lack thereof against Utah. That's got to be the third key. It is. It's all about special teams. I think offensively and defensively, it could be almost a wash. And so it's the third phase of the game is special teams. And Utah is very good. They have a very good kicker and a very good punter. Maybe the best in the country. They do. And they're both midseason All-Americans. They lead the country in three different stats. Opposing punt return yards, minus 12. Minus 12 on, opposing, on the year. On the year. They've allowed three punt returns all year. Yes. It, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. And then also their net punt yards at 45 on, on each punt. And also field goals made at 21. Their kicker right now leads the conference in points per game, right around 10 points per game. So Washington State, we saw some of the woes last week on punt return yards. Eric Powell making two touchdown saving tackles last week on kickoff returns. Each place. Although we have not given up a touchdown or any points, it's going to be one of those things where field position, time of possession of the ball, and also field position and putting our defense in bad situations. Matt Gay is their kicker. He, like you said, he's a leading scorer, quote unquote, in the league. He's got almost their season record for field goals with a couple of games left. And Mitch Wisnowski is their punter. He's a junior. Last year won the Ray Guy Award yes. for best punter in the nation as just a sophomore. They have an incredible kicking game. This place will be rocking tomorrow. It's a 2.30 Pacific kick. That'll be 3.30 local time. 19th ranked Cougs take on Utah off a big win over UCLA. This has been the Cougar Football Preview. Brought to you by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer.